Hi, I'm Jason. This is Sam, my apprentice. We've just been rubbing back my deck and uh, probably seven years old and time for a spruce up. As we were doing it, we nearly finished it, but thought I might make a little video and show you guys how easy and quickly it is you can spruce up a, an old deck without having to replace it. So the tools we, we've been using are uh, basically a belt sander, sanding discs, these are about 20 bucks a pop, so you'll go through a few of those. Might cost you a couple of hundred bucks, depending on the deck. But, um, you know, after years of coating it up, there was about six or seven coats on it, so it's time to strip it back and just start all over again. So Sam the Apprentice, he'll show you how it's done. Okay, so make sure you've got a nice, clean, clear surface. Make sure there's, you know, there's nothing on the deck that you can hit with the belt sander. It is a power tool and it does rotate in that direction so if there's anything in front of it it'll pick it up and spin it back at you so make sure you, you're working safely. Sam we've got earmuffs on we've done a bit of this and it doesn't generate that much dust so we're not going to wear a dust mask or any eye protection because it's just getting caught by the bag of the belt sander but if you're a bit worried about that by all means use that sort of protection um, you can see I'll pan the video down in a minute you'll see next to the front door how old and shabby it was looking and you'll see how Sam's taking it back to a new deck. In the next step, we'll, we'll do a bit of painting and show you how to apply a deck finish properly. So take it away, Sam. We did use a, uh, we used a thickness planer for some of the more tougher ones which were under cover. They hadn't been weathered by the sun so after eight coats of decking it was quite hard for the belt sander to get it off. It rubbed up a little bit so we simply unscrewed them and ran them through the thickness planer and that got the top coat off. So we'll be back with the painting technique. Now the hard work's done of sanding back all the deck and um, running some of it through a thickness planer, the stubborn bits. We can give it a first coat and a second coat. Now you want to use long brush strokes and choose a nice sunny day that's not going to be too hot. You want the, you know, you want the decking oil or the finish to dry in its best possible environment. So give it long brush strokes and just remember, you know, keep the maintenance of your deck up. It'll keep the um, the value of your house up. You know, people look at decks and if you can look after your deck, you'll maintain a good price for your property. I tend to do two boards at a time, it just speeds up the process, but you need to work fairly fast and, and get your edges done first, and then use a nice wide brush, uh, and then you can't go wrong. Give it about, you want to give it about a week between coats, you want it to, the first coat to dry nicely, otherwise you'll keep building up the product and it won't dry properly. So after all the hard work, this is what we come up with, an eight year old deck looking like a new deck once more. <laughs> 